Welcome back everyone. My voice is so weird right now. iOS 13.4 finally came out, so I'm gonna take a look at it on the iPhone 6S Plus. And now this is on my second channel because I don't wanna bombard my main channel with so many videos, but the concept is still going to be the same. Now this update was, it wasn't a huge update. It, it kind of was in a way, but it also wasn't. It was a very strange update in a way. I think overall across the board though that it was much needed and it was a pretty good update. I think that's the best way I can explain it. Now this update was about, I don't know if I screenshotted the size and I must have forgotten to, but it was about, I would say about a couple of gigabytes to about like 900 megabytes. So about 900 megabytes to a gigabyte on all my versions of the phone. And whether it was on my 6S, my 8, my 8 Plus, whatever, it was all about the same. And I think it was a hefty size update for this and I think it was much needed. Apple hasn't pushed out update in a very very long time their last one was iOS 13.3.1 and that came out forever ago like I think over a month ago so it's cool that we finally got an official build and I figured I don't know when the next time Apple is going to push another update so I might as well review it on most of my phones now a really cool thing was th with the iPads they actually increased that mouse and trackpad support so I'm pretty sure we were able to see it before but I guess not but now we have like full-on gestures with our iPads and everything which is really really nice and I actually made a video on this channel kind of showcasing it and then if you guys want to see it you guys can look back or link it down in the description below and that's actually a really cool thing that they did so shout out to them they're looking out for the iPad users which is something I really like now another really cool thing is within the files app we now have iCloud file sharing which is a really really cool thing so if you're here right if you go ahead and go to your iCloud drive which is right here you can go ahead and share a specific folder so i'll go ahead and click here and if you click share you'll now see an option called add people so what you can do here is you can add people to the specific folder which is a really really cool thing so if you wanted to add people you have that capability now of doing so which is really really cool now another funny thing is with memoji they actually added a couple of new ones which is really funny so here i'm not going to add it but you do have the capability of having some new ones which i don't know if a ton of people are going to use it or whatever but at the end of the day you have that capability which is really really cool so again i don't really know anybody personally who uses it but you have that capability which is kind of funny now another cool thing is within purchases so if you purchase something on your iOS or macOS device pretty much those purchases will be synced up to one another so that's a really cool thing if you buy something on your iPhone you don't necessarily have to buy it again on your Mac or you can have it available on your Mac device which is really really awesome so who knows how people are going to use this but I think that's a really really cool thing that they added and was it just me or did it take a very long time for it to load into the App Store that's very very weird I don't know why that happened now I did run a benchmark and I don't know if I ran any benchmarks before maybe like this one for example but that was for my iPhone 7. I don't know which one I did for this one. It must have been a while ago. But I did run a new one for this one. And I might switch to Geekbench soon like I've been saying it. But as you can see on this one, I have about a score of 143,786, which is really cool. So it didn't really go down. I think it's pretty still pretty decent. This is about the same score that I had on my iPhone 7, if you guys saw. So and this one is still pretty good performing. It's just sometimes it glitches up, as you guys saw. But I still think this one is a very good phone in 2020. So if you have an iPhone 6S Plus, I would recommend updating to iOS 13.4. You still have that jailbreaking capability on this thing too which is really really awesome so at the end of the day i would highly recommend you if you currently own a 6s plus i would recommend updating it didn't break my phone or break any of my phones for that matter not even my iphone 7 so i think that pretty much covers it up if you guys have any other questions or anything leave it down in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.